if Formula One offered all 20 cars up to anyone who wanted to buy a ticket to race, you'd get a mix of professional drivers, enthusiasts, and hobbyists. For all the racers who bought a ticket for tonight's race, a podium finish could elevate their status, providing sponsorship deals, but also something more valuable than that, becoming a champion. Tonight in Muncie, as the sun goes down, the track lights up to crown the IO Spec champion. Killian, one of the fastest drone racers Europe has ever seen, makes his way to the US to compete in this event for the first time. He manages to make it into the final four. Well, don't read, pilots, good luck on your cards. And down goes heads up FPV. They'll do some damage. Amari goes down. Over the dive gate we go with the Dark X, oh, Mr. Chow. Go, Chow. Three of the other racers go down. The win is his for the taking, but he crashes in drone racing. If everyone crashes, whoever goes the farthest on the track wins. That was incredible. Except for this little known rule that only applies to a championship race, someone must cross the finish line to secure a championship. The win doesn't count. We must race again. Well, oh, that makes it a little more exciting. Get rid of that footage you just got. Drone racing, the fastest growing sport you've heard of but never seen, has exploded in 2024 onto a world stage. A month ago, 16 pilots competed in Sharjah, UAE for a Legends race invitation only. This week, MultiGP's International Open extends an open invitation where anyone in the world can come compete for the title of Drone Racing World Cup Champion. Once a year, International Open, a five-day drone racing festival happens in the small town of Muncie, Indiana. Muncie is home to three things, Pizza King, the Academy of Model Aeronautics headquarters where IO is held, and the best pork tenderloin sandwich that exists anywhere in the universe. The AMA headquarters in Muncie is 200 acres of grassland, crops, and an all open sky you can fly any sort of model aircraft you can think of. Hundreds of drone pilots migrate here from their countries and states in order to compete in tonight's race. It uses those exact same drones from the UAE Charger race to light up the night sky and crown a winner of this spec series. Drone racers are used to building maintaining and repairing all their own drones but this race allows them to fly one of the fleet specially designed spectator friendly crafts leaving them to dedicate every ounce of concentration to flying only well, they're all built absolutely identical so that's what makes it really it's identical there's no advantage this way or that way a lot of drones you can use software to make them better or worse and with this, the software is also locked down, so it is truly just pilot skill. Yeah. Which makes it really cool. I think that's pretty sweet. It's like everything about it is the same, it's just not flying. Yeah. Like In a lot of other racing, it's how much money you have can make you better or worse. Because like, you can test more props, you, or you can test more products, you can hire better engineers, but this. It doesn't matter how much you have. That's pretty cool. There's no way to cheat. Killian makes it to the USA from France to compete against pilots from across the globe. Sometimes DRL has pilots change their names to be more broadcast friendly. He was one of those instances. It's kind of like when you know something one way and it changes for a while, but when it's time to get really serious, you go back to the way you started. Killian didn't show up to compete today. Dark X did. Killian. Dark X FPV. Heads up, Evan Turner, former three times MultiGP champion and drone racing league champion, takes a break from running his drone racing parts empire at 533 to see if he still has the skills to sit on top. Many of drone racing's champions have begun filming drone sequences in Hollywood, but Heads Up has taken a different route, specializing in sports, Formula One, the Super Bowl, the World Series. They were all shot by Evan recently. Charles Mr. Chuss won the Sportsman Class Championship a few years back. I really enjoy it. I live next to Evan Turner. There's no better example someone who can push you. He's the best mentor I've ever had. Big time. Dedication. We all just get a move next to Evan Turner. 
Charles hopes he can see this competition be the one where the student surpasses the master. Amari, hot off his Miami Drone Racing League win and his spec racing win at the Milwaukee Ice Storm race, he hopes to secure the title of undisputed spec racing king. He qualifies. P1, putting down the fastest qualifying time of the entire tournament. NM Grower, Mr. Nice, designed one of the most popular tracks of all of International Open, World Cup 1. But can he slow down enough to fly spec racing and avoid the mid-air traffic? Pro Dangles, sim racing expert, joins the spec race. Dangles took over the Redding's weekly simulator competition to fill in for a couple of weeks. He ended up keeping the series going single-handedly for almost three years. Spec racing is right up his alley. Lamone spent much of his time leading up to the Sharjah race, creating new custom versions of the Betaflight software, working to make the racing as close as possible. How did you get drone number 69? They kind of know my nature and they like, yep, that's the ones. Maybe Lamone is famous now, I don't know. A little famous and a little fast. I just gotta be the most famous out of the fastest and the fastest among most famous. Then you're impressing everyone. Shames finishing his first year as COO of MultiGP. Shames hopes to prove he can still race with the best of them. I got a pep talk from the mom a little bit ago. She's like, do not let her win, she said. <laughs> makes me She's so mad. Adrone and Free, part of the technical team that made the Sharjah race happen. Both are competing today for a chance at that podium. Dark X through the sweeper was our top qualifier in the UAE racing this drone. It's just another day at the office for the France pilot across the line. But we advance Dark X to our final. It's blue of Mr. Chow's green of Grower as Grower gets on to the final lap, eight seconds behind Mr. Chow's. Mr. Chow's in our sweeper section, qualifying in the number six spot and right now working his way to our match final. Just a hurdle and a gate to make it official. Mr. Chow's advancing to our match final. They're ooing and on to that corkscrew by Heads Up FPV. That's probably the most difficult section of the track. Let's limp across the line. Second gonna go to Lehman. Flyboy connecting at the end of the front straight. It's down to two. Amari and a drone separated by two flags of the sweeper to work his way up our ladder here. The finals will be run in a format called Chase the Ace, where races will be run back to back until a single pilot accumulates two wins to become champion. Let's start things off with the pilot qualifying number four this week in the multi GP stock race. Taking the trip here all the way from the country of France. He is a legend when it comes to racing the stock racer. It's Kieran Dockett's up to here. Here we go from match number two. I know there's a lot of fans of this guy, a three-time multi-GP world champion. Number seven qualifying here this week from Marysville, Tennessee. Where are the heads up FPV fans tonight? And finally, coming up on the end of two nights ago in this fact, a street new show for the world as well from Waukee, Iowa. Your top qualifier is Amari. Remember that Legends race in Sharjah, UAE? Three out of our final four were there. Amari ended up on podium. Killian made it to the final four but just missed it getting fourth place mr choss was in the tech crew but tonight he'll be competing for a chance to win and heads up he was busy filming for the daytona 500. we are off to the races a great start here. The whole shot rule was in play. We didn't need it. Dark X, Amari, Mr. Chouse, heads up FPV. Your running order, three tenths of a second, separating them here at the start line. As we go over to the hurdle off to our right, we come to our checkered here at center stage. Dark X, your winner of Chase the Ace round number one. Oh, Arm your quads. Live on the tone in less than five. 
We are off to the race. Lap, last run of the track, or his heads up FAB, hold him off. He's in the sweeper. He's now gapped him a little bit. Now 80 feet to the good. Heads up over Dark X, out of that dive gate, through the dive gate, over to our stitch it up section. A little tighter, but heads up still holding him off. Dark X just found an interesting line right there, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Heads up, FPV, lining up on our start finish gate. Heads up, FPV, your winner of JCA's round number two. Second going to go with Dark X. Just like riding a bike. When the pressure's on, primetime player. Heads up to Mr. Chouse with issues at the end of the front straight. And now it's just Amari and Dark X. And your top qualifier leading by about 100 feet out of that sweeper. Amari over to the dive gate where just him and Dark X. There's Dark X through the dive. It's about uh, three seconds separating them. And Dark X uh, now trying to use that quick line he learned the last time around to catch up to Amari. But as one goes one way, one goes the other. Three, the final lap. Who gets to the checker first? If it's Amari, it's in the line. And it's Dark X. It is uh, going to be done. Here comes uh, both of the This one goes to fourth round. Dark X pulling up second. That gives him a first and a pair of second. Now we're all caught up. Time for that rerun. Says, That's a multi GP roll I like. Dark X, your finish order here in this. So who doesn't love when it goes to extra innings? On your quads, live on the tone in less than five. Fantastic start off the blocks as we go around that first turn in the hurdle, looking good as well. As we are chasing Dark X, Amari, Mr. Chouse, heads up FPV. Less than a tenth of a second, separating all four at the line as they all four go up. And Mr. Chouse with issues, Amari with issues, but he's back on his line. We are chasing Dark X, heads up FPV, one and two. Mr. Chouse within striking distance. Over to that dive we go with Mr. Chow, Samari heads up at the D, Dark X at that uh, corkscrew section, and up high to the skies, has a little bit of company as we end lap number one. We're chasing Dark X on the lap number two. Heads up at the B, two tenths of a second behind him in second, Amari in third, Mr. Chow in fourth, three seconds separating all four. As Mr. Chow is finding a gear, trying to uh, gain a couple of positions, trying to get that ace to push us another round. Dark X through the dive, heads up at the D with some issues over that section and on his way trying to catch up white flag about to fly dark x on to lap number three he was our tq with the drone overseas the win eluded him right now he's three seconds of good amari running second 3.1 seconds back mr chouse in third 1.4 seconds behind him and heads up mpb seven seconds from our leader as we get set to wave a checkered flag here in a few moments Dark X over to the corkscrew. Not taking that tough line this time, taking a little easier. Over to our hurdle we go, as he finally does it here in America. France wins. What the heck? Again? Go, yeah, apparently they don't want me hey. to win at the <laughs> run before, so we ran this one and that was really, really tough. That was actually really hard. I mean, hey. even from the store, I was so, so stressful to get a meter. So that two was... times, ten times, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Till you got the skills, you got it. How is the racing here tonight? I know you podiumed uh, earlier in Freedom Spec. You won that and another podium here in the stock race. How was it? I know you got the invite, didn't get to fly this at the UAE. You got to fly it here in the USA. I mean, the stock racing is incredible. All of these drones are absolutely identical down to every single screw that goes into them. And it was the best pilot that won. So I'm glad that Killian was able to take it home. I was glad to put up a fight. Uh, especially in that final, it, it was uh, it was close, but uh, I simply just didn't have it. So uh, props to him. Champion Amari. Let's go! Let's go!
Hot racing tonight. A little bit of bad luck, a little bit of good. Reserve champion, not the worst. Really can't complain, especially when the racing is this close. It's literally just razor thin margins we're competing with, and that's the type of racing I'm here for. Shout out to my wife who's watching back home in Dallas. I love you, and I'll be home tomorrow. Bring in tonight's champ, Dark XFPV, Killian. Killian! Yay! This is your drone. You've earned it. We had a tough time overseas. TQ finishing up fourth, but here tonight, you're able to redeem yourself. You gotta be proud. That was really long. I was very stressful, especially at the end. And I hope you guys have a good entertainment, especially with uh, this situation happening. My first time ever I was seeing these rules, I didn't know about that, and that was just my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about 7.9.2? You get to rerun it. You got to win it legit. That's a better win. You actually got to see the checker line what do you think about this drone now you own one you've won this one you've got to fly it overseas fly it here in america what can you tell us about this stock racer that you just took to the top of the podium i think it's the best way to make the race closer together with people they are exactly same they fly actually really good the night race is awesome like the truck is beautiful now you have this beautiful drone to uh, fly back in the beautiful country of france who do you want to thank for your win here tonight oh uh, thanks my uh my spotter arthur he did a really, really great job by changing props, make my batteries ready. Congratulations to your champion, Killian. Dark X is your stock race champion. Bon, à tous ceux qui me regardent, si vous n'avez pas trop compris, eh ben, en gros, il y avait une règle que j'avais jamais vue avant, et en gros, qui a fait qu'on a refait le, le match que j'avais gagné. On n'avait pas le droit d'avoir de mid-air avant la première guette, parce que la, la règle all shot avait déjà été utilisée une fois, donc pas de deux. Et là, Rigon est pareil, ultra serré, des collisions et tout. Ça m'a. C'était hyper long, Sivon, Sivon de fou. Allez, bisous à tout le monde. Ha, 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 ha.